is called Down to Earth Sociology, um, enjoying a sociology quiz, sociological findings versus common sense. So I thought I'd go over some of the questions and then hopefully some of you guys will reply to what you think and I'm going to put what I think. Um, here's one. True or false? More U.S. students are shot to death at school now than 10 or 15 years ago. Now, think about what you would find is the right answer. I'm going to say what I think is the right answer before I read it, the answer, and then I'll tell you what the answer is. Um, I thought that more U.S. students are shot now because there is, I think, kind of violence grows with time. Um, that's probably a really stupid common sense thing, but um, I don't know. That's what I just thought. There'd probably be more violence down in school than there was in the past. But the answer was false. More students were shot to death at school, at U.S. schools, in the early 1990s than now. So that was kind of interesting. Um, true or false? The earnings of U.S. women have just about caught up with those of U.S. men. This one, I'm just going to tell you what the answer is, and then I'll say what I thought. Um, it's false. Over the years, the wage gap has narrowed, but only slightly. On average, full-time working women earn only about 70% of what full-time working men earn. This low figure is actually an improvement over earlier years. This was, like, kind of bizarre to me because um, I never thought that there would be a difference in what men and women make. Maybe I just haven't been in the working world enough yet, um, or maybe all my jobs that I've had are things where you just are equally paid. Um, not that I've had a whole lot of jobs in my past, but um, I used to work at a corn stand <laughs> um, where I sold corn, and if a guy was working at the corn stand and I was working at the corn stand, we both made the same amount. It was just... Then I worked at, uh, or one of the jobs I had was in and out at a fast food restaurant, and we all start off at the same time. It doesn't matter if you were male or female, you were you started off with the same wage. We all started off with a certain amount. Um, back then it was, I started out at 8.25 and then went on from there. Um, but we all made the same. And now I work as a unit secretary for a hospital, and whether you're male or female, you start out at whatever is your education, how high your education is, really. And as a nurse, when I actually do get my license, hopefully, um, all nurses are paid the same. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. So it's really quite interesting to me that there actually is a difference in um, pay, pay grade for, for male and females in this country. And I was thinking that maybe part of it, it is. It's not because um, men are paid more per se, because it says 70, men make, or women make, um, um, working women earn only about 70% of what a full-time working men earn. But I was thinking, maybe it's not because the man is paid more than the woman, but men might strive to become the manager or strive to go farther than a woman would strive, therefore making his pay grade higher than a woman. Um, for instance, with me as a unit secretary, if a male, and I get paid a certain amount, but if a male went along and did the same thing I was doing but then worked harder to get to a higher Maybe he would learn um, how to become an ER tech as well as, you know, able to do whatever. I don't know. So his pay grade goes up higher than mine because he, he knows more information. He's gone up higher in the, in the ladder ranks, you know, whatever. So maybe that's what it means when men make more money than women and not so much that men are paid more in the same position as another woman would have. I hope at least that that's what it is. Um, I'm not going to do all of them. There's ten of them, but um, um, true or false? Couples who live together before marriage are usually more satisfied with their marriages than couples who do not live together before marriage. And the answer is false. The opposite is true. The re reason researchers suggest is that many couples who cohabitate before marriage are less committed to marriage in the first place and the key to marital success is firm commitment to one another. And I totally agree with that, because I do think that people who live together um, are less committed to each other, because why would you live together and not get married? 
it's the same thing pretty much. You're just too afraid to take that final step and, and commit. So by the time you do take that final step, you're still in this, well, I'm not really committed to this person, but I think, and I think that's true, but mm, whatever. I might get flamed for that one. But it's actual s statistics says that you, the h divorce rate is higher if you live together, together before you're married. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> this will be my last one. True or false? Because bicyclists are more likely to wear helmets now than just a few years ago, their rate of head injuries has dropped. And the answer is false. Bicyclists today are more likely to wear helmets, but the rate of head injuries is higher. Apparently, they take more risks because helmets make them feel safer. And maybe that isn't the reason why it's higher. I don't know. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it is the reason they feel safer, but... I know when that he helmet issue came into effect where if you were under 18, you had, it was illegal to not wear a helmet when you rode your bike, and I thought that was complete BS because I hated wearing a helmet, and I quit, pretty much quit riding my bike after that, that law came into effect because I did not want to wear a stupid helmet around town. Um, I've started to ride my bike more since I was 18, but again, but whatever. Um, I also think that it's ridiculous that there is a law that tells us what we can and cannot wear when doing things. It's just kind of like, I, I understand it in a work environment because if you get hurt at work and then have go to the doctor and make workers comp pay for it, that sucks for your job, you know? Sucks for whoever is, is a fly, it's like. Um, oh, I had this on the wrong setting again. Oops. Anyways, sucks for people who are paying for your workers comp, but on everyday life, if I don't want to wear my helmet, I shouldn't have to wear my helmet. That's how I feel about that. And I really thought it was sucky when we when that, that law came into effect. Um, I thought it was government trying to control what we do on a daily basis in a bad way. So that's how I felt about that. So it kind of makes me happy. I mean, not happy that there's more head injuries. That's not good, but I think it's funny that backfired backfired because people wearing helmets thought they could do more dangerous things. Anyways, so that's that. I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, post your comments if you want to. Hi. Morgan, it's your 24th birthday. Wear your shorts on 23. <laughs> I would like to thank my friends and then my family for being at dinner tonight for all those who picked on me or could make it. No one picked on me. This is my steppy, <laughs> and she's gonna dance tonight. Maybe. So yeah, it's gonna make me it's a yes, and it's only to freakily. Maybe, possibly, and maybe some horse. Some They're gonna leaves. dance the freakily. Oh, and then yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, Morgan, yes. any life lessons to teach us young twenty-two-year-olds? <laughs> yeah, when I learn them, I will let you know. <laughs>